Well, hello everybody. On this beautiful day, it's uh, seven degrees out. Be like 45, somewhere around there, Celsius. Look at how much snow we have. We're three quarters of the way through February and there's no snow. I was just looking at a video last year at this time. There was two feet of snow on the ground. Been a mild winter. Not that it's been mild, but we haven't had a lot of snow this winter. So I said, oh, I'll show you guys. If you compare it to last year, if you go back and look last year at this time, the amount of snow we had. Now there was a good foot and a half, almost two feet of snow. Hard to believe what's going on. Really nice today, so I said, oh, I'm gonna clean up the boys' cars and get some stuff done outside. Bring my dogs out, play with them. Look at all this stuff. See, one thing about this time of the year, pretty hard to keep your cars clean. Look at that. So the guys doing the snow removal this winter won't be able, they can't complain. They had a good winter so far. Of course, we're not done. Last year we had snow right up till about the 10th of April, month and a half, almost a month and three quarters from now. So I'll bring you guys along with me today. I don't know how long the sun's gonna stay out. Bring you guys along with me. Do some stuff running around and stuff like that. Enjoy you guys. Come along with me. Hey everybody. Just pulling in here to the shop today. Running around because we're gonna build on the land out back. And we um I gotta go to the town to figure out exactly how far I can go back out there. I'm just gonna go measure how far they made me go out back. How far they made me, um, sorry about that. How far they made me stay from the line when we built uh, this shop. So I'm gonna go out back, I'm just gonna measure that up, then I'm gonna go to the town urbanist or section of the town and go see what they have over there, what they're gonna tell me. Because I wanna get the plans, I wanna give it into give that to the hands of an architect so he can get all the building made up so when as soon as we're going to be ready to build everything will be ready all right let me grab a machine here to measure with should have one in this van right here right there Wonder if I go outside if the the deer are gonna show up. Pretty cold out here today, minus ten Celsius. All right, so you see when we built here, see how far they may see the line is where that post is to the corner of the building. Let me measure that up and see. Now I want to go all the way back there to the trees. Alright, what's that say here? 25. Yeah, so I want to go all the way to the back. I don't know how we have to be 25 feet when you look over at the neighbors over there. I'll show you guys over there. Look like they're about 7 feet. Looks like the distance that they have over there You look the distance right here. I don't know if it's because it's old school. But that building's been there forever. Let's go up there and we'll measure that and see. See right there on the corner of that building to the fence. Because that's a line. That fence line is going to be pretty well the line for us too. Let me 
Yeah, let's look at this here, we'll measure this up, give us a good idea. Eight feet. Yeah, because we'll start over there. We're gonna bring it all the way up to as far as we can. If we can go seven, eight feet, that'd be really good. It'd give me about a hundred feet of building. All right. So let's go to the town, see what they're gonna say. Head over there. Where did I go over here? Take a look at everything inside, make sure everything is good, everything's ready to go to work. Should be starting back up the end of March. Beginning of April, uh, not beginning, yeah, something like that. Make sure that's all locked up. Put this back away. Trucks are all plugged in, everything looks good. Oh, see that truck's leaking a little bit. Have the mechanic take a look at that, see what's going on there. Write it down on the bulletin board. All right, I had him check to see if one of our chargers in the trucks, one of our slow chargers, make sure it was working. I noticed the batteries were dead when we got in it. All right, write this down. All right, let's head over to town, see what they got to say. What kind of strengths they're going to have on us. Shouldn't be too bad though. Like I said, that piece of land, we're going to build on it. But what we've done, we want to make sure because we're not sure what's going on with the economy, how good that's going to be. We put it in the hands of a broker to find that somebody to either rent the first part in the front or the new part in the back. It depends if somebody wants to have a offices in the front, we can rent them that part with the front part. And if not, they just want the back part, whatever they want. We make it easy. We make it easy for you. So that way you don't get yourself in trouble. You start building, because it's a lot of money when you're building. Like we said, if it's $180 a square foot or $200 a square foot, you do 10,000 square feet, you're at a million dollars. All right, let's head over there and see what they have to say. All right, I just got out of meeting with the town there. I showed up at three o'clock. I finally got through at 3.45, took 45 minutes to get through. Then the guy told me, he goes, we close at four. <laughs> I said, what are you talking about? So I wanted to know, I go, I gotta know how far I can go uh, on my land out back, how far I have to be from the line where my building can go up to. He says, you can go up to, I think it was like uh, 20 feet. It was like around 20 feet. He says, it's a little under 20 feet you have to be from the line. I said, all right. So I said, well, while I'm here, why don't you give me an idea uh, on some other land I'm looking at buying, see what I can put on there. Because I said, I might put some storage lockers on there. Am I allowed to do that? And he goes, no, he goes, that zone, you're not allowed to put storage lockers. He goes, you're gonna have to ask for a change in the zonage. And I said, all right. And I goes, they're very complicated. He goes, well, you have to ask for it and see what they say. I go, I remember when I bought my land where I have a, the shop where we work from, and uh, I had to change the zoning over there too, because they didn't want us to go there. They said we weren't allowed it in there. I go, it's nothing special, it's just where we keep our trucks and stuff. But he goes, yeah, you weren't allowed. 
So when we change our zoning, then after we asked for the change of the zonage, and they put the, then you were allowed to put us, which were tree work and all that stuff, and you were allowed to have snow removal companies. I said, well, there's already two snow removal companies here. He goes, are you telling me they've been here for five, 10, 15, 20 years and they never been allowed to be here? He goes, yeah, well, he goes, we don't, he didn't say in so many words, we don't really check that unless somebody complains. I said, all right, good to know. I go, we try to do it by the book to make sure everything is good. We don't want no problems. And then some people just do whatever they want and they can get away with it. So anyway, so what I thought was really funny was though, uh, he told me, he goes, I got to get going. He goes at four o'clock, he goes, I got to get going. I have to go pick up my kids at the daycare or at school. I said, wow, was this a nine to five job there or a nine to four? I've, I've been waiting 45 minutes. I go, you can't give me an extra little bit more time. So I got another 15 minutes out of him. A little bit special, I found. You spend all this money you sp and you pay all those taxes with all those buildings. And the, almost like we're bothering them. All right, next on the list, the Mazda. He's got a keyless remote. And he lost the little end on it to hold it on his keychain. So we're gonna go see what we can do if we have to get some new remotes made because you have to, these cars are parked outside and look how they get all frosted up. It's so cold, they're not sitting in the garage. Everything's frozen up. So I'll head over to the garage and see what they can do for us. Be nice if he had the little button. It was right there. Be nice if he had it on. So it'd be for the windshield. All right, let's head over there and see what they have to say, what they can do for us. So we'll change a little remote. All right. All right, just got here. Uh, I stopped for the remote. The remote, the company that makes the remote doesn't even exist anymore for the starter, for the electric starter for in the winter time when it gets cold. And then on the way by, I said, I'll stop and check when I get the oil change what's done in this, in the old uh, Mazda. So the boys are doing the oil change. It was done in December. We do it once a year because he only does about 7,000 kilometers a year with this car. Because they said it was, it's at 95,000 kilometers and he said last time it was done was at uh, I think it was 88, something like that. So we'll get the oil change in it. It goes pretty quick. 15 minutes, 20 minutes, it's all done. Change the air filter, everything. So we'll do that. All right, let's go next thing. All right, just got the oil change. In and out pretty quick. One of those quick places we have here in town. Kind of like a Jiffy Lube, I guess, but different name. Mom and Pop own. Like, I don't know, 125 bucks with tax, everything, something like that. So that's all done. So we're gonna keep going. Nice, beautiful day, just a little cold out. It's right now we're at minus seven. So at the remote place, no remotes company does not exist anymore. I wanted to get a remote for his starter, his electric starter. The company that made that, I guess when he got the car, the car came from uh, his grandmother, my wife's grandmother. It was my wife's grandmother's car, this car. So uh, when she passed, it went to my kid. My kid, uh, we bought it for my kid, for the oldest one, about five years ago, I guess. Because I remember when he bought it, it had 50, about 55,000 kilometers and now it's got about 95 as you can see there so we got the remote that doesn't work I have one remote but it's just because it doesn't have the little hook to hook it on his keychain so by that being in his pocket you know sooner or later he's gonna lose that and the second remote I don't know where he put it 
Well, it'll be up to him to be careful with it. They told me there's nothing they could do. They go, we can put you a new one. But it was like uh, $400, it was $395. I'll talk to him, see if it's worth, if he should get that or he's just gonna have to be careful with his remote. No, I'm not even gonna tell him, I'm just gonna tell him they can't do it. Don't feel like spending $400. He can just be careful with his little remote. All right, let's keep going. Bringing you guys along with us, with me today. Showing you guys getting stuff done. <laughs> 